Tokyo Disney Resort offers incredible accommodations that blend storytelling and great design, from two hotels that are inside the park to incredible amenities. Why are Tokyo Disney Resort hotels so incredibly well designed? And which one is the best for you? Well, the first hotel on property would be Disney Ambassador Hotel. This is a breathtaking hotel designed by architect Robert Stern, a personal favorite. The architecture reflects a time of glamour of movies and travel. This is emphasized by the art modern style with streamlined shapes. The hotel has a subtle Hollywood touch with the murals and artwork. Notice this mural. It features famous Los Angeles landmarks, including Stern's own work, the Disney Animation Building. This hotel features modest accommodation and for mega fans you can enjoy character themed suites. It's not only the great design of the hotel, it's also the wide range of amenities. From incredible restaurants like Chef Mickey for a buffet meal, Empire Grill, a great example of storytelling as the restaurant blends its high-end atmosphere with the theme of the hotel. Another great benefit is TikTok Diner, blending in 50s style diners and quick service dining. You can easily grab a quick meal here. Now the highlight of Hotel Ambassador is the lobby. Everything here adds to the story of the hotel and its historicist aesthetic. For instance, Hyperion Lounge is like a trip back in time. More details throughout the hotel reference the story depicting world travel. The hotel is filled with incredible detail. Additionally, the architects integrated shopping onto this experience as the hotel features Festival Disney. If you are looking for Disney themed merchandise and sunset sundries, a traditional Japanese convenience store. The pool also blends architecture with great experience, though keep in mind that it's only open in the summer. All Tokyo Disney hotels are like this. Overall, Hotel Ambassador is a testament to great design by a great architect, which is perfect for a theme park environment. Tokyo Disney Hotel Ambassador is steps away from Inks Piari and its monorail station, allowing for easy mobility to the parks. When Tokyo Disney Sea opened in 2001, it surprised the theme park universe with incredible attention to detail to add to the story and theme of the park, Imagineers proposed a unique experience. What if you could stay inside the park? Hotel Miracosta was born, a hotel that takes storyline to a new level. This hotel blends Italian renaissance with Disney fun. The lobby is breathtaking. It features these murals depicting each port of call from Tokyo Disney Sea. The lobby is the center of activity where you'll find shopping and dining. Silk Road Garden is a restaurant that blends Italian and Chinese cultures, depicting the voyages of Marco Polo. Oceano is the main buffet, taking full advantage of its location as it offers views onto Mount Prometheus. Bella Vista Lounge offers a more intimate experience, but still taking advantage of that incredible landscape. The main store is Mickey Angelo. Keep in mind Miracosta doesn't offer a full convenience store. The pool takes advantage of indoor and outdoor. The indoor part is like a Roman bath, and the exterior is again only open in the summer months. But the best part? Well, the rooms. We stayed in the Venetian side. As so, all details in this room reflect that. The bathroom blends luxury with an Italian touch. The hotels here offer amenities, which you can take home. These kits are themed to each individual hotel. The beds feature Venetian-inspired motifs. You can also enjoy the little details. A giant map and a tapestry-like mural. But the best part, well, it's the view. The incredible thing about Tokyo Disney Hotel Miracost is that each section of the hotel tells a different story. One side looks more like Tuscany, for instance, while the other side is Portofino. There is also a Venetian side with the gondolas going around. This helps the hotel give each guest a unique experience and also for practical reasons, as the hotel now fits in with the park. It doesn't have a homogeneous facade, rather it takes advantage of its diversity. Then taking the monorail, we arrive at Tokyo Disneyland Hotel. It's a gem in guest experience. The grandiose hotel features Victorian architecture and Disney attention to detail. Most Disney fans overlook this hotel, thinking like it's the Grand Floridian. But let me tell you, it's much more. 
the plaza in front of the hotel is a great example of why Disney excels in theme park design. This plaza creates a main street-like atmosphere with diversity in facades, showcasing different approaches to Victorian architecture. The landscaping adds to that. You can just sit down and relax here. There is also a garden exclusive to hotel guests. It's somewhat hidden, but another great example of landscaping. You can find Sherwood Gardens, which is my favorite breakfast buffet. Kana features more high-end dining. Disneyland Hotel features two shops. Disney Mercantile is a giant shop for Disney merchandise. Looking Glass Gifts, it's more of a convenience store. Another great amenity is Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo Boutique, which you might already be familiar with. The main lobby is super impressive. The fountain creates nice acoustics. Each space is filled with great detailing, like this dollhouse, filled with references to Disney properties. But what makes the lobby great is the gigantic scale especially with the elevator cage. In the lobby, you'll find Dreamer's Lounge, which offers great service in a fantastic atmosphere. Room categories here are quite extensive, from standard rooms to concierge level suites, which shows a quite unique experience, an alcove room. An alcove bed, it's basically inside the wall. It appears as part of the furniture, creating a cozy and inviting feeling. These beds are great for maximizing space, but what about the rest of the room? Well, it's also fantastic. It has an elegant Victorian atmosphere with a great vanity area. The amenities are here, of course, and the best part, theme park view. This was a fantastic experience. The hotel only has an outdoor pool, only available in the summer months. Tokyo Disneyland Hotel is located right in front of Tokyo Disneyland Park, steps away from the monorail. In 2022, Tokyo Disney opened a new hotel. This required the demolition of the Tokyo Bay NK Hall that closed in 2005. Shanghai Disney Resort has a Toy Story Hotel, so Tokyo Disney would build on the success of that with Tokyo Disney Resort Toy Story Hotel. It features many familiar elements from the popular movies. This hotel will make you feel like a toy. The facade features a mural reminiscent of Andy's room. The interior also takes cues from popular toys, combining interior design and nostalgia. The rooms also reflect that they are like a treasure chest for Toy Story fans, with details all around. You can find the Lotso Garden Buffet Restaurant and the Gift Planet Toy Shop. The Toy Story Hotel might not be for everyone, but it does serve a very specific audience really well. Fans of the movies will enjoy the references and theme park fans will notice the attention to detail. And Toy Story Hotel is just steps away from the Bayside monorail station. In 2016, Tokyo Disney Resort welcomed two quite unique Disney hotels, Tokyo Disney Celebration Hotel. First off, these hotels are not anywhere near the parks. They are located at an approximate 20 minutes bus ride from the main parks. In fact, these buildings were not built to be a Disney branded hotel. These were originally the Palm and Fountain Terrace Hotel. These hotels worked as two separate buildings, utilizing a courtyard style layout. As so, the building is reminiscent of a Spanish colonial monastery. The other building, while having the same layout, features a more French colonial style. In 2016, these hotels would be rethinked. One hotel became the Wish, and the other, Discover. Disney characters would be added and the rooms gained this mural that depicts the parks, but the architecture of the hotels remained. It's important to know that these hotels are very much budget friendly. For instance, the restaurants Wish Cafe and Discover Cafe don't serve dinner or lunch, after all, you are going to be at the parks. The shops are similar as well. There is Disney Fantasy for Disney merchandise and Wish snacks and sundries and the discover snacks and sundries that serve as a convenience store. The design of these hotels feature imposing architecture, as so the interior design tries to reflect that story. The discover blends in with Spanish colonial and features reference to attractions with that Adventureland and Frontierland theming. Likewise, the Wish takes advantage of its French colonial architecture and it's like a mini fantasy land. However, personally, that almost 20 minute bus ride is a big disadvantage to me. These hotels are for those that want to take advantage of a Tokyo Disney hotel park like entering the parks 15 minutes before everyone else at a minimum price. Though keep in mind this benefit is offered to all Tokyo Disney hotels. 
we looked at how Tokyo Disney innovated in theme park design with immersive hotels that feel like part of the theme parks. Well, they are doing this again with Fantasy Springs Hotel. This new breathtaking hotel is directly connected to Fantasy Springs, a new massive expansion to Tokyo Disney Sea, featuring new rides and experiences. This hotel blends movements like Art Nouveau with Disney Fantasy, making you feel as if you entered a world of wonder. The resort features standard guest rooms, the Fantasy Chateau and Grand Chateau which offers an ultimate luxury experience with extra perks. This hotel learned from the success of Tokyo Disneyland Hotel with more alcove rooms. This hotel offers a plateau of restaurants and shops and lounges. First, are those available to all hotel guests, like Fantasy Springs Restaurant and the Grand Paradis Lounge. The hotel shop will be Joyful Springs. Now there are some offers that are only available to Grand Chateau guests, like La Libelle High-End French Cuisine Restaurant, offering incredible views. Then there is the Grand Chateau Lounge with its distinct French influence. Overall, Fantasy Springs Hotel looks like another great success with all the elements that resulted in the great designs of previous hotels. So we learned that great hotel design comes from a mix of great amenities for guests and incredible storytelling. This is what makes theme park hotels so unique. It's clear these accommodations are more than just a place to sleep. They offer an immersive experience where every part of the hotel becomes an adventure. Tokyo Disney has set a standard for exceptional theme park hotel design.